Here's something that, that a lot of people don't really talk about when it comes to abuse, right? When it comes to abuse, when it comes to manipulation, right? Is that, and, and a lot of reason why narcissism is so confusing, right? Is because a lot of people will say that I see both good and bad in them. I don't like seeing the, the bad side, but uh, when they're love bombing, when they're being nice, they're really nice, right? And, and it's, very, it's common knowledge that the, that the love bombing is, uh, is a form of manipulation, but a lot of people don't really talk about is that abuse does not work without some good times. It doesn't work, right? If someone was bad all the time, if someone was abusive, literally day in, day out, every single day, no one, I don't care how codependent someone is, literally no one would stay in that relationship, nobody. Abuse does not work without good, without some good times in between, right? And so when we, when we know and we understand that, that it doesn't work without some good times in between, when you start to look at the narcissist and you start to look at the cycle and you start to look at the behavior, you start to understand that the good times that you saw, the good, the good times that you're desiring, the good times that you crave for are literally just a form of manipulation, right? It's just like when, you know, when we all grew up playing arcade games, right? When the game is over, the game really isn't over. Right. What happens once you lose your life in the, in the arcade game? There's a, there's a countdown it starts. It starts from 10. Right. But if you get a token in before before the countdown hits zero, guess what? The game picks up right where it left off. Same thing with a narcissist. Right. When you're with a narcissist and you have one foot out the door or you start threatening divorce or uh, even if you um, it doesn't even have to be that serious. Uh, you cave to a demand or like you, you are starting to pick up on, you call them out on their behavior, call them out on uh, cheating or manipulating or gaslighting, right? And they feel that you're starting to pull away. What do they do? They start putting tokens into that arcade game, right? They start to love bomb. They start to say everything that, they, that, that got you into that situation to, to begin with. What does that do? It, it gets your boundaries, it gets your defenses back down. Right. Not in a positive way where you can be uh, vulnerable and not in a positive way where uh, where you can have intimacy again, like you, you could in a in a uh, healthy relationship. But the reason why they want your walls down, the reason why they want the boundaries down specifically so they can get right back to the devaluation phase. Right. What a lot of people don't understand is that they do not like the love bomb phase. They don't want it. Right. So the, the entire part of the relationship that you enjoy the narcissist hates. The part that you hate is the part that they enjoy. They won't let it get back to the love bomb phase, right? That part, it's over with.